Hi and welcome to my creative lab. I hope you are doing well. So today I'll show you my alternative ways of creating augmented reality garments. But before jumping into the tutorial, I want to thank you all of you for staying with me, writing your so nice and supportive comments uh, and asking the questions. It gives me uh, fuel to create more content and uh, you make this uh, channel feel lively. So thank you. And now back to the tutorial. Not long ago, I created my latest uh, Snapchat effect uh, of air fashion garment and received several questions about how I created it. So I thought it might be helpful to show here on YouTube my alternative way of garment creation. So it can be interesting for those who work with 3D or for those who want to try create a garment like this. For the process, you need to have a Blender for 3D and a Snap Blend Studio for creating an AR effect and other software of your choice. First and foremost, I made some sketches of what I was going to create. Although along the way I changed some elements of the bottom part, then I tried how it could look from behind. Then I exported the top part as a PNG to vectorize it because we need SVG. But before this step, you can clean the image first in any photo or drawing software, or initially create a higher resolution or cleaner image. I just didn't think I would create it this way. The idea for this workflow came <laughs> later. To make PNG SVG, I used Adobe Illustrator, but you can use plugins in Figma or any other online tools for tracing. So trace the image and delete unnecessary elements. Next step, open Blender and import your SVG. Convert to Mesh to have the ability to make it 3D. Then choose a modifier solidify to add volume. Choose thickness you need and apply the modifier. The next modifier remesh is essential, so you can transform your from the 3D shape. The smaller the number value, the more details you save, but it will be heavier and hard to use a snap lens studio, so try to find the middle ground in value. After this, change mode to sculpt mode to smooth the shape. Choose a smooth brush and soften the edges. I find this process very satisfying. You can also add some patterns or ornaments uh, to add some volume uh, so that uh, the garment doesn't look flat and trite. I prefer to use uh, the iPad app Nomad Sculpt uh, for sculpting and uh, refining, but you can do the same in Blender, same process. When I finish with the refining, I edit a full body 3D model that you can download by the link in the description. 
I use it to place the garment in the right place at its back part and make some adjustments to align it with the body. In the scalp mode, you can choose a grab or elastic deform brushes to deform the shape of the garment. Then I duplicated the front part and mirror it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and if you like this video, also please let me know. When the garment is ready, we can add the material. I decided to make it go. If you find that uh, the surface is a bit sharp, add shade smooth. Now we are ready to export the model, so choose a GLB or GLTF formats. Open Snaplet Studio, start a new project and select Full Body Preview. In the left uh, workplace panel object, add Full Body Tracker. Next, upload your garment 3D model. Watch out for the file size and place it in the object panel. Sometimes it may appear too large or too small, so adjust the position, size and rotation in the right panel under Transform. Next, make the full body shape invisible using the occluder material for it. By the way, you can control what should be an occluder, invisible part of 3D shapes tracker. And the last step is to work with the material. You can change the color, add more roughness and so on. Play with the settings. And that's it. Now we have AR garments that are visible on both front and back sides of the body. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you. I'm planning to create more videos about your fashion, so stay tuned. And uh, you can subscribe to be notified. See you!